In almost four decades of development, high-energy lasers have grown both in power and the ability to effectively focus energy on target. Early tests showed the laser could stop high-speed tow missiles, as well as a supersonic target flying in a cruise missile profile. In 1994, high-energy lasers were first proposed as a response to a real-world threat, Katusha artillery rockets fired by terrorists against civilian communities. Uh, the real fundamental problem is the Hezbollah uh, rocketing northern Israel with what are called Katusha rockets, very dangerous rockets. Earlier today, Prime Minister Perez and Secretary Perry signed an agreement to expand our theater missile defense program so that we can detect and destroy incoming missiles. We also pledge to expand work on the Nautilus high energy laser system, which is designed to destroy Katusha's in flight. After a series of lethality tests under the Nautilus program, the laser engaged a captured incoming rocket with a live warhead, a threat against which there has never been any defense. The target was acquired and tracked and the high power beam quickly destroyed. In a little over three years, the tactical high energy laser was designed, built, and then installed at the White Sands Missile Range as a complete air defense system. It made history when the first Katusha engaged was destroyed. He's killed. He's down. Kill. Kill verified. It was an event that caught the world's attention. Thank you, Steve. And as Fox reports tonight, science has caught up with science fiction. The Army has completed the first ever successful test of a system that uses lasers to shoot things down. For the first time, military experts have destroyed a missile in flight using just ground-based lasers. Since then, the tactical high-energy laser has shot down 28 operational Katusha rockets, including single and multiple rocket salvos, and incoming artillery rockets simulating a surprise attack. The system next faced another threat for which there has never been a defense, artillery projectiles. In a series of tests against this howitzer, every incoming threat engaged was shot down. In May 2004, the laser faced a new challenge, the kind of large caliber rockets that threatened deployed American troops. Rocket after rocket was tracked, lased, and destroyed, including threats approaching through a cloud-filled sky. The high-energy laser next faced live mortar rounds, one of the most serious threats against our deployed forces and field assets. After destroying the first four mortars engaged, the laser faced a salvo of three incoming rounds simultaneously. One after another, all three were destroyed. Fell continues to demonstrate the attributes of directed energy in countering hard-to-hit threats with a low cost per kill, reduced collateral damage, and speed of light response. Based on the success of Fell, the U.S. Army is moving forward in the development of a compact transportable, fully operational laser system currently known as Thel Block Zero. With each step, 
we come nearer to providing our deployed forces with effective air defense against a wide range of threats, including rockets, artillery, and mortars, threats for which there has never been any defense.